Today I'll show you the easiest way of using Elementor Pro to create a drop down menu like this, which looks premium and has a CTA button too. And if someone clicks on it, they will be redirected to their respective pages. So to create a menu like this, on the WordPress dashboard, head to appearance, click on menus, and then select screen options at the top right. I'll check the box of CSS classes as it allows us to set specific tags for different elements. Next, I'll create a CTA button for a drop down menu. So head over to custom links and here I'll add my website's shop page. In the link text, I'll write buy now. After that, click on add to menu. Then click on this button and assign the CSS class as menu button. Finally, I'll save the menu from here. Let's visit the site to see the new button in the menu. Here it is. To give color and hover effect on this button, click on customize and after we get this screen, navigate to additional CSS. Here, I'll paste this CSS code, which is also available in the description below. As you can see, our button has a color and it looks great. Let's save it. I'll click on publish on top. Now, to create a drop-down menu for mobile, we need to create another menu using Elementor. Don't worry, it's very simple and we will use widgets to do this. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard, click on templates and then theme builder. Here, I'll select the header part. Next, click on the plus button and select this one. I'll click here to edit this container and change the content width to full width from here. Next, set the layout to drop down since we are making a drop down menu. Then I'll align the text to the center and finally set the toggle align to the right like this. Now let's change the look and feel of the menu. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. LF will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just LF is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now let's move on to the next step. To customize our menu, go to style, for the normal state, I'll set the text color to black and the background color to transparent. Now let's go to hover and set the text color to white and the background color to transparent again. Moving on to active, I'll choose this text color and keep the background transparent. Now let's go to the toggle button below and set the text color to black. Again, I'll set the background to transparent. Next, go to advanced and here we'll add some margins and padding to position it well. I'll set the margin to this and padding to somewhere around this. Now select the main container here, go to style and choose a color for the header. From the color picker, I'll select the subtle shade of this. Next, click here for the elements and drag the site logo option and drop it here like this. Hmm, this needs some adjustments. So let's do that. Go to advanced, change the position to fixed and set the padding to 20. Next, go to style and here I'll adjust the width and height of the logo. Now let's click on the drop down button and here you can see that when we hover over the options, the text disappears. It doesn't look good, right? So let's fix this quickly. Select the menu, go to style and under hover, change the transparency level to this. Then go to the toggle button and set the color to black. I'll go back and see if it looks better now. And yeah, looks decent. Next, let's change the typography a bit. So select the drop down and click on typography. I'll set the decoration to none. Adjust the weight to this and increase the size to this. Okay, this looks perfect. As this is specifically a mobile menu, we have to be sure that the alignment 
and user experience is good on mobile devices. For this, we need to check the responsive mode. So click on this icon below and on the top, select mobile icon. Hmm, it looks good and doesn't need any adjustment as well. But if you face any difficulties, just go to style and advanced tab and play with margins and padding till you hit the right spot. Let's save and publish by clicking publish button. Oh, it's asking me to choose a condition. Um, as we want this menu across the website, I'll go here and choose the entire site and then click on save. Awesome. Now let's check if everything is working properly. I'll open up my website in my phone. Here is the hamburger menu. I'll tap it. Drop down animation looks subtle. Let's see if the CTA button is working properly. And yes, it takes me to the shopping page of my site. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.